Hello guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with the scroller box and we're going to get a quick unboxing. I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's open this box and see what's inside. If you don't know what the scroller box is, it is a art subscription box that you can get every month and it costs £15, UK based. And you don't know what it is until you open it. Unless you watch a spoiler video, <laughs> like this one. So let's get on to it. Gonna see what it is. Kaden's probably gonna come in here. There you go. Alright, so let's see what's in this box. Okay, is it squeaky? Right, so the first thing I see is this. Oh, that's nice. That looks like a cat vlog. It is. Oh my god, I said that looks like a cat walk painting drawing and I was like it is. Okay. So the featured artist is Cat Vox. She has a YouTube channel and she loves cats. So I'll put it there so that you can read it and get all of her information. Her information will be in the description below. But I really enjoy her. So yeah. We've got a bit of paper here, two bits of paper. Let's see what's in this part. Is it going to be sweet? There might be sweeties. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's sweetie over here. Damn it. <laughs> okay, they've decided to put this one back in. I was looking oh, forward to the other one. <laughs> it's a sweetie, but it's not for you. It's too hard. Alright, so the first thing that I see are these markers and they are by Spectrum Noir um, in various colours and it is a TN2, TB9, DR3, EB8, PL5 and DG4. I have actually bought these, I had a full set of them and then I sold them to my best friend or my best artist friend here in the UK and um, I'm kind of happy that I got some back because then I can use them for you know different things and not have to worry about blending colours together so it comes with a bullet nib and a chisel tip nib and those are six markers which you usually get in a packet anyway but they're just a weird set like they don't come in, in this set, uh, I don't think anyway. Next thing is this Zig Memory System Brushables Brush Up On Colour pen. It's by Kurtaki and it's got two ends. Um, it's got this, whoop, it's got this brush tip end. And it's also got this brush tip end and they look similar but uh, my battery died so I decided to test out everything and um, well they are a bit similar but this is the one end and this is the other and I think that this other end looks a bit darker than this end um, I'm not sure and one of the ends is a lot firmer than the other but it doesn't show any difference on the brush whatsoever so not sure about that. We'll read about them though. Then we've got this Staedtler Pigment Fineliner in 0.5. I really did want to try one of these but I wish they gave me it in 0.3 because I have 1s and 5s all over the place but I don't have a 3. And then we have this cool Staedtler Mars Razor Eraser pencil and it's got a brush on the end which is really cool. I've never seen that before and um, I can tell you that it's pretty good. I tested it out here. Um, yeah, pretty good. And then we have the Staedtler Mars Lumograph in 2H and it's pretty hard pencil. And that's it for the supplies. So obviously we have these bits of paper as well. I'll read about the paper first. Well, I'll read what it says on the top. I always forget that. It says, this month we're exploring an alternative range of alcohol markers and a collection of autumnal colours to keep you purring like a Cheshire cat right through the winter. 
All right, nice. Okay, a wide selection of refillable double-ended markers that bo boast a broad chisel nib for large areas and a fine bullet tip for more fine detailed work. The ergonomatic, I can never say that word, <laughs> rubber gripped hexagonal barrel also provides greater comfort whilst colouring. That's true, they are comfortable to colour with and they don't roll off your desk. All right, this Zig brush, oh, Zig Brushables two-tone brush pen. Okay, so that's right, it is a two-tone brush pen. And I can now see a little bit but that this lid is a little tiny bit darker than this lid. Didn't notice that before, but yeah. A marker with a clever concept. One end lays down a fully pigmented colour while the other applies a 50% tint of the same colour. Use the light end to work over the dark ink for a smoother, more even blend. That's pretty cool. I was going to talk about paper first, but I totally went on a tangent. Alright, so this is Stadler 308 Pigment Liner Pen uh, in 0 0.3. Well, actually, I got a 0 0.5. Okay, it says 0 0.3 on here, it's teasing me. A quality opaque black fine line pen with a long metal tip for seamless use with rulers and templates. The pigment line is indeliable. Is that how you say that? Light fast, waterproof and quick drying, so no smudges. Nice. Then we got the Stadler Mars Lumograph Pencil 2H. This pencil is a great choice of pencil for all types of drawing and sketching. The lead is super bonded which makes it more breakable resistant but it's very easy to erase and very easy to sharpen. That's nice. I hate hard pencils that like go and dig into your paper but this one didn't seem to do that. And then this Stadler Mars Eraser Razor Eraser Pencil. An eraser pencil for fine point detailing erasing that also has a brush on one end for cleaning your page. You can even sharpen it with any good quality standard sharp pencil sharpener and I did test sharpening it. It does sharpen okay. It doesn't come to a great point but if it did then it would just bend quite easily anyway so you can get pretty good details with this. And then the paper is Canson Bristol Paper 250 GSM. This paper has an extra smooth, strong, clean, white, acid-free surface, perfect for using with markers. And then on this side, you have the Scrawler Challenge of the Month, and it is Happy Cat. So you've basically to use the supplies in this box to create a artwork based on the challenge. Alright guys, so we're on to the drawing portion of this video, which I usually do, and to be honest I was thinking about not doing a drawing portion because I really was not inspired by this. I usually like the boxes when they come with a artist piece of work and then they give you a challenge that has something to do with the work but not too much, like they'll give you a word like escape or um, something like... Um, spontaneous or something like that so that kind of gets your juices flowing more whereas this one was happy cat and the artist included a picture of a happy cat so all I could think of when I was thinking of something to draw for this challenge was what Cat Vok had done um so yeah I don't usually draw cats and I'm not a marker artist so I'm going to be straight up this is terrible. This drawing is terrible. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it is terrible. Anyway, about the products I want to talk about really quickly. Um, I've used Spectrum Noir markers to their full ability with all of the colours and their blending abilities and honestly I've also used Copics and I think that they are better. Um, the pigment ink is a l the ink is a little bit less of a quality but um, they're easier to use I think. I like the barrels more. Um, I like the fact that it comes with uh, a bullet tip and a uh, chisel tip. A lot of people don't like that. They prefer the bullet and the brush but um, I prefer the bullet tip because I have more control and I believe that the Spectrum Noir markers are juicier than the Copic markers in my 
experience and opinion. I would 10 out of 10 recommend the Spectrum Noir markers and they are much less expensive. I was I managed to get a full set on just some birthday money and a few weeks saving up so and I barely have any money ever so um yes but I sold them because I am not a market marker artist and I have no clue how to use them as you can see in this video. As for the brushable the Zig brushables. I think this is a really cool pen, although it didn't really work very well with the paper that I was using. I think I went in too sh too fast with the darker colour. Um, I liked it. I put it straight in my everyday sketchbook pencil case so that I can use it in my sketchbooks and add some nice lilac -y colours to my drawings if I want to, like backgrounds and stuff like that. I think that's cool for those. Um, I think that they would work well together if you had more colours as well. I really like these pens um, and they are, they're, they're a bit dear to be honest. I don't know if they're refillable, I don't think they are. So they're a bit expensive but I think they're okay. As for the eraser pencil, didn't use that that much but I think it would come in handy for my portrait drawings so I'm pretty happy with that as well as the brush on the end because I tend to smudge everything with my hands. And the pencil, okay, this is the first pencil that I have used that is hard but I like. Like, I never like harder pencils because they are really annoying and they always dig into the paper no matter how light you press and they're really hard to erase. Um, but this pencil glides across the page. It's such a light mark, you can get really cool strokes with it. I really like this pencil and they come in a lot of grades so I might invest myself in some pencils although I don't do pencil artwork that much anymore although I did do that for like 14 years straight and uh, the Staedtler pigment liner I didn't use that too much in this picture but I did use it in my uh, watercolour sketchbook after I had watercoloured something I put it down on top of the watercolour and I think I ruined it because the watercolour wasn't dry enough yet so I can't say much about it because I think I ruined it with my stupidity um, but if it was a 0 0.3 I probably would like it better but I like Pilot, Pilot pens like the company Pilot or Pentel those are both really good um, really good brands that do really cheap alternatives to Microns and Faber-Castell, although I really do like Faber-Castell as well. So yeah, I probably wouldn't buy the Staedtlers just because they're a little bit too expensive for a well-known student brand compared to the artist brands. Um, but I've put it in my pencil case and I'm going to test it out in a couple of weeks or for a couple of weeks to see how I like it. Again guys, I'm really sorry about the art. I I wasn't inspired by this this time and I just felt like I needed to do something at the end of the video so that I could explain all these products uh, to you and what they're like. But definitely if you are a marker artist or you want to get into markers, the best way is uh, Spectrum Noir. Start with the greys um, and work your way up, build it, building up your stash in the, the, um, the sets because they sell sets and they're all individually. Um, separated into colours and you can get m really beautiful monochromatic, monochromatic drawings uh, with those and um, if I ever do decide that I want to go back into marker work I probably will buy these again although I do have a fair set of Copics and I think they would be cheaper for me to get Copics um, because I um, already have about 72 Copics so I may as well just finish the set right or just at least get the colours that I like. Anyway, as for the box itself, I can never say anything wrong about it. It's uh, really good that they include an artist and I really like getting artist's works because otherwise I wouldn't be able to afford it and I really enjoy it so it's really good. And the price comparison to where you can buy them online is really um, always lived up to its expectations expectations I think it was like a couple of like 50 pence off one day one month but I've been doing it for a year now um no I've been getting scroller box since December last year and 
every time they have not failed me. Like, apart from the calligraphy one, that just wasn't my style. But I really enjoyed the supplies, actually. I still use those. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. And um, if you aren't subscribed to these guys... By the way, I am not... Um, getting paid for this or associated with them in any, any way shape or form uh, I just like to review their boxes and show you guys what comes in them and stuff like that so um, I do recommend them if you like surprises and if you like new art supplies although I will admit that all of the art supplies that I've got from uh, well I can't say all of them but most of the art supplies that I've got from boxes like these just go in a box um, but there is a reason for that I want to do a lucky dip thing but I keep on not doing that. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.